Hello Ragers, I hope that you're all doing well. Now, I am back again to deliver another FHTB classic. This video exists to answer one of the most profound dilemmas in the fashion community that one may find themselves in. Picture this, you like clothes, and you know about clothes since you've watched my videos, and you may even own clothes. However, you may find yourself stuck with all this essentially useless Fire Archive hype drip without knowing how to wear it. And that is where I come in. Today, with the help of some of the brightest minds in existence, aka FHTV followers, we will go on a crazy and wild fashion adventure and explore the many ways in which clothing can be worn. From an all-black fit that's the perfect attire, to an ironic and poetic amalgamation of garments arranged in an avant-garde, abstract, subversive fashion. With that out of the way, let's explore 10 of the most unique ways of dressing that you'll ever witness. I will start off with some that may already be familiar to you, but it will get progressively worse, so stay tuned. Starting off with a very complex way of dressing that few will understand. I learned about this style from this very underrated designer featured on a small YouTube channel. Essentially, this style is for fans of minimalism and practicality. If you want to negate all the stresses and difficulties that may arise from planning outfits or picking a fit for the right occasion, then a uniform way of dressing may be for you. In order to start dressing this way, it is important to find the optimal comfort to style ratio. Ideally, I feel as if you would want something familiar, yet visually appealing. Find out what silhouettes you enjoy, like if you're more comfortable in oversized or fitting clothes, which cuts you like, which fabrics you like, colors, or whatever else. Uniform style works for very successful and busy individuals who can't be bothered with all that fashion nonsense, or it can be used to build up your personal brand. Someone who combined these aspects is obviously like Steve Jobs. Likewise, a lot of creatives in the realm of fashion follow a uniform way of dressing, including Yoji, Tom Ford, Raph, Tom Brown, amongst many others. Moving on to a very interesting and creative style that was totally created by the brightest fashion geniuses on TikTok pertains to blokecore. Blokecore is essentially just creating your best Sasha Baron Cohen cosplay. I don't know if there's a word for it, but imagine if NA Weebs were obsessed with EU football culture rather than Ray Ayanami body pillows. Blokecore is all about throwing on whatever sneakers and pants are readily available to you, combined with sporting your favorite team's jersey, and then going out to the pub with your mates and having a couple pints, all while watching the big game. Blokecore serves as an ironic appropriation of the beautiful intricacies that stem from EU football culture. Gen Z North American TikTokers can only dream about leaving the room and actually being a part of a real world community that cares about something more than their own egos. Anyway, this style is obviously more or less a joke and a fad, but sometimes you like to get silly on the FHTV channel, but not often. A way of dressing that can be regarded as Techwear's younger brother, something practical yet also drippy, both literally and metaphorically, because look at the way the water just beads off. And obviously I'm talking about Gorpcore. Gorpcore, stemming from good old raisins and peanuts trail mix, was coined by Jason Chen in 2017. It's basically camping chic and actually serves a purpose. Notable aspects of Gorpcore often include breathable, functional, and practical clothing meant for those who go outside and venture into the wilderness, something that my viewers will not have to worry about. Layering is crucial for this way of dressing and each piece serves a purpose. A general formula that can be mixed and rearranged depending on the situation goes as follows. First, you'll want to grab some sort of hiking slash trail shoe or boot, like Asics or Solomons or whatever is practical, combined with breathable yet long socks since you'll be on trails and probably don't want buggies or plants irritating your skin. Obviously then you'll need big arcteric pants, and perhaps a breathable undershirt of sorts, followed by a Patagonia fleece or a middle layer that will keep you warm but also not weigh you down, ending off with a fire and swag Arc'teryx or North Face rain repelling jacket. Like I said, this can be changed depending on what the situation calls for. This is probably one of the most logical ways of dressing since it is derived from necessity rather than for the sole purpose of appearance. Now, on the complete opposite side of the fashion spectrum, we have something like Vamp Core. Wow guys, this is so Ken Carson Playboy Cardi Destroy Lonely Opium Gothic Church. Honestly, when it comes to vamp core, an all black fit is the perfect attire. You'll want to purchase a 2 out of 10 condition pair of Dark Shadow Ramones from Grailed, some Taobao $30 wax denim that smells like it was produced in Chernobyl, followed by some fire and swag Ken Carson Destroy Lonely Tour merch. And then obviously top it all off with a Rick Owens Mountain hoodie. Make sure to copy the exact stance Ken Carson is doing in his latest Instagram post, and then you're all set to go. Now, go out into a populated city and stand there for hours waiting for someone filming a TikTok to ask you about your outfit. In a similar vein, this applies to dressing like your favorite underground artist, so I'll just combine these two styles, if they can even be called that. 
For instance, Haunted Mounders or Cemetery fans can follow a similar formula. Find some secondhand cherry jeans and oversized flannels at the thrift, acquire a BB belt somehow and pair it with your favorite Haunted Mound merch, then borrow an object of sorts from a local farm, stand in the woods in the middle of the night, pose in a 2014 era Chief Keef manner, and apply every single filter known to man. Likewise, an elevated version of this can be seen through the likes of styles that mirror collabs that your favorite artist has been a part of, much like Blade and Heaven Mark Jacobs, or taking a step further, something like Ketamine Chic. Continuing with silly styles that reject the formal rules of fashion and subvert expectations, we have something like Irony Core. As the name suggests, it's pretty straightforward. Basically, find something silly to wear and put it on. Someone like Luke Blovat is a prime example of this. Through wearing clothes that reference things that may be nostalgic to Gen Z, or garments that feature ironic sayings and whatnot, Luke contrasts the often serious nature of fashion. When looking at it deeper, it can serve as a form of parody and commentary on the current state of fashion and consumerism. Or maybe it's just silly, I don't know. But designers like Demna play into the whole subversive and ironic nature, which you can learn more about in this pretty cool video that I just stumbled upon. Getting away from all that irony nonsense and circling back to something truly unique, we have Explore Page Core. This is a style that stems from those who are keen on wearing elevated basics, influenced by the likes of Pinterest mood boards, the TikTok for you page, and IG reels. Explore Page Core is the amalgamation of advice that very knowledgeable influencers bestow upon us peons likely consisting of fog essentials, Uniqlo basics, thrifted vintage tees, Carhartt double knees, and so on. This is typically either one's entry into the realm of fashion or a comfortable level for someone who wants to build a wardrobe that is a step above Walmart basic Hanes three-pack light tees. On the other hand, if you are tired of all the fashion nonsense on both ends of the spectrum and no longer care about keeping up with the latest trends and appearances, the normcore may be for you. This is essentially the post-ironic endgame way of dressing. Even personal fashion cycles often repeat. You may find something you're interested in, learn more about it, you discover more styles, you become too obsessed and get too deep, you get burnt out and now you only wear whatever is comfortable to you or whatever your deep fried brain finds funny. It's essentially the epitome of unpretentious, regular looking clothes, and it can serve as a statement against the ever-changing, fast fashion cycles and oversaturation of trends and garbage. Not quite anti-fashion, but similar to plain dress. You can wear more or less whatever in this style. Perhaps some New Balance sneakers, maybe some light wash jeans, a Nike tech fleece, and it's really just up to you, whatever you think will make you seem normal. Taking Normcore a step further, this is for those rare viewers who actually have a job, or maybe you just want to cosplay as a corporate wage slave. We have Business Core or Business Casual. This stems from the corporate aesthetics associated with obviously what employees are wearing to work, or the oppressive, capitalistic, brutalist nature of financial districts, or maybe you just watched an SG Lily music video. After watching the entirety of Succession, you may be inclined to start wearing some classy button-up shirts, blazers and suit jackets, or whatever else fits into a clean corporate aesthetic. Classic designer brands like Prada and Dior, as well as Bottega, amongst others, offer pieces that serve to contribute to this style. All in all, this style works for those who want to keep up the appearance that they are a contributing member of society. Furthermore, if you're a size 28 waist, twinkish, fragile male with a diet that consists of cigarettes and saltine crackers, you may be interested in the Hedy Slimane Dior YSL Celine Rockstar type way of dressing. Featuring skinny jeans, chaussee boots, cropped teddy and leather jackets, this style is for those who are truly rockstar made. This is obviously a style that is closely tied to the music scene and youthful culture. Certain pieces are more or less for a particular body type, like an androgynous skinny silhouette, but the rockstar ethos can transcend that. And honestly, when you really think about it, maybe the real style was the friends that we made along the way. Hopefully through this deep dive into the diverse world of fashion, aesthetics, styles, and culture, you are able to maybe discover one or two things that you enjoyed. There really are no limits to this stuff, and you are free to experiment and try it whatever you like. Who knows, maybe one day you will develop your own core. But just know, whenever you do develop your own style, it was all thanks to me. So when you're getting interviewed by Vogue and GQ, I better hear my name mentioned multiple times. I'll and all, thank you for watching, and I hope you gained something from this video. Let me know down below if there are any other styles that you would be interested in hearing me talk about in the future. Later, Ragers.